Hello, great people. Um, today we are going to look at something on counting principle. Remember, everything that we are giving to you is a scope. It's something that is supposed to guide you in your preparation. Now you will have uh, differentiation from the first principle um, in paper one. If you are told to determine f prime from the first principle. You check your formula sheet, you have this formula. Don't just find the first derivative, no. You use this formula. So what we need to do is we find f x plus h. How do you do that? Okay. Let's look at how we're going to do that. Now, with this one, you know we're giving this function or this the original function. And the original function states that x, which is the domain, f of x, is going to be 1 minus 4 times the domain squared. Now, we need to find the value of this, or the expression for x plus h. So, f x plus h is going to be a 1 minus 4. This time, our domain is x plus h. Then, you bring the squared. Then, so... If you simplify this one, you are going to have, you are going to have this. If you simplify this, you know this is going to multiply that to give you this. This is going to multiply that to give you x, h. This will multiply that to give you that. And h will multiply that to give you h squared. Then when, when you simplify, you will still have this. Then x, h plus x, h is going to give us 2 x, h plus h squared then when you simplify this will multiply that that will multiply that and that will also multiply that and you simplify we are going to have this one so in place of fx plus h we are going to substitute that there okay now if we substitute that value there there's the value for x plus h then minus remember f of x is what 1 minus 4x squared so that's what we've written make sure you bring the bracket over the h then the next one the next thing you need to do is if you simplify that if it comes out it's going to be minus and it's going to be plus then this and this will blow themselves off this and this will also blow themselves off so you have zero then we are going to have negative x h plus 4 h squared. Then if we take the limit as h approaches 0, h will become 0. Because that's one we can factorize h out. That's one way. We can bring h out as a factor. Then you have your minus x minus 4 h. Then the h will cancel that one. Then you have minus 8x minus 4h. Then we are going to have minus x. Alright. Good. Bye.